Let's go. Love adventurous days like this. Nice skirt. Oh, look at these waves. <laughs> Turn the screen away for this bit if you're squeamish. <laughs> Welcome to Jurassic Park. Look at that. It's like a huge sand dune. We're Craig and Kirsty, a full-time travel couple sharing our adventures here on YouTube. We upload new travel content every week from different parts of the world. Right now we're making our way through the entire country of Argentina and exploring everything it has to offer. If you enjoy seeing new places and real experiences, please subscribe and welcome to the adventures of Tide Not Travellers. going on a bit of an adventure today. We've just been on the mini bus for about an hour and 45 minutes, traveling from El Calafase northeast to near a lake called Lake Viedma. We're gonna be kayaking for about four hours down this river, Rio La Leona, and this river joins uh, Lago Viedma, which is in the north, with Lago Argentina, which is in the south. El Calafase is on the shores of Lago Argentino flow of the river looks pretty quick and look at these rock formations as well stunning here so we're just getting kitted up we're going to get into the kayaks and jump into the river and just to let you know we booked this tour with kayak santa cruz from the town center of el calafate there's loads of tours to book and loads of uh, shops to pick from um, these guys were really nice and the price was 10,500 pesos per person um, and yeah pretty excited just getting kitted up <laughs> Kirsty started again because her Mine first wetsuit was too big. It's like, can I get a smaller one? <laughs> and also we are getting attacked by these little sort of midgy flies. Yeah, it's crazy. As we get ready. Not the easiest. So, ready to go. In there. You getting there? Yeah, I'm winning. <laughs> Win the day. Second time lucky. This one fits be much better. Just need to get all this into our dry bags. I think some of it's going to get left behind. <laughs> nice skirt. Just doing some quick kayak school. We are in the kayak. Got the skirt tucked in around here. Kirsty's in. Cozy. I'm Everyone's practicing. Got the float on the GoPro. Got the spare batteries. Got some food. And sunglasses. It's not that sunny yet. You okay back there? You ready, wifey? Yeah. Made a mess already? Nice. <laughs> I nailed it. <laughs> I made a mess already. <laughs> and we're away. <laughs> this is awesome. The speed of this river. Yeah. <laughs> How are you enjoying the rapids? <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Go on, paddle. Right, left, right. Whoa, look at these waves. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> That's so good! <laughs> Whoa! We're through! We survived! We're just kayaking through Patagonia. Check out those rock formations ahead. It's amazing, all the different layers and colours. The river's got quite a constant, quite fast flow, and then every so often you get this white water and it gets really exciting. Kirsty's really enjoying it. <laughs> a few waves came over the bow. Team Patagonia. Just laughing my head off because I didn't realise in that little break we just had 
the guy gave some offered some mittens to Kirsty and she said yes. And we started started paddling away. And I just realised as she was paddling and raising her hands that she's got mittens on. Look. Put your yes. hands up. Put your hands right. <laughs> she's got oh, mittens on. <laughs> I'm not the only one that said yes. You're the only one. <laughs> See some wild horses over there on the shore. They seem to be really curious about it. They were majestic horses. They were. Well, look at this, we're going in some sort of canyon now. I'm working muscles that I don't think I've ever known I had. <laughs> <laughs> Love the colour of the water as well. It's like a sort of a slightly milky coloration. Because of the iceberg flower. <laughs> we learned all about that yesterday at the glaciarium. Glaciarium. That's that's a new word for me. Glaciarium. <laughs> <laughs> Our, um, our instructor, what's he called? Yes, he's an instructor. He's a lovely guy anyway. He's just started singing about Patagonia because it's fun. Uh, it's raining pretty heavy now, but he also confirmed I was right. It is glacier flower, or they like to call it glacier aid, the water here. <laughs> Bottle it and sell it. Glacier aid. So it's just basically glacier flower, as they call it, is made because the glacier breaks up and crashes against the rocks and basically turns all the rock into such fine dust that it doesn't sink like normal sediment, it floats in the water and creates glacier flower, which is why this water looks so milky and beautiful. And it's full of obviously rich nutrients and minerals, so it's good to drink. Nature making its finest glacier aid out of glacier flower. Glacier aid, he's definitely onto something there. <laughs> A refreshing drink. Glacier aid. I want some. <laughs> Patagonia, kayaking, in the rain. And Craig's Yay, doing some work for once. Patagonia! <laughs> Keep going! <laughs> he was working until I said it. <laughs> Looks like we're landing now, wifey. Lunch and hike time. Right, right paddle down. Right paddle. Right paddle down. Oh, and that's the easy way to do it. <laughs> Release the legs. There we go. Ooh. How was that? <laughs> Got your sea legs. Quite so much rain. <laughs> <laughs> I am so too and too. The water just looks so beautiful. It matches the colour of my shoes, actually. Whoa. Frozen feet now. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that aches. <laughs> Just starting the hike now in the rain and when we first got on the kayaks they gave us a little bag of fruit and nuts which is really nice. Um, yeah we were kayaking for about an hour. I think we're gonna hike for about an hour now too and then stop somewhere and have some lunch. It is stunning around here. It'd be nice if the rain stopped though. Patagonia you call this summertime? <laughs> Turn the screen away for this bit if you're squeamish. You can see that the guanaco has the teeth down here. Here just only the lips. So when the guanaco eats, they just cut the grass from the surface. The horses go and sheep and take it from the wood. <laughs> See that little lizard, he is so cool. He is yeah, really cool. I love a lizard. All <laughs> over. <laughs> oh, the colorations on him are like mustardy, creamy colors. So well adapted to the landscape. Just look at this landscape that we're walking into. Just those hills, it's beautiful. All these different colour layers that you can see in the landscape are from rising and lowering of the sea level and deposition of sediments. Uh, apparently this area is Cretaceous 
in age, looks like we have some petrified wood here as well. With this been turned into rock. Look at my lips here. That's the way you can say it's a fossil because the lip gets sticky and the fossil bone. Yeah. <laughs> Good trick. <laughs> no, the, not on the petrified wood. Here, no. Okay. <laughs> when you do an expedition in Patagonia, we finish with your lips like this. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. this is the proper geological yes, technique. I'm a geology. Yeah. <laughs> Gracias. Basically, he just kissed a dinosaur. <laughs> you can also see the difference between the petrified wood and the dinosaur fossil because here you can see like the bark. But look, look how solid that is now. And also on the dinosaur fossil, you can see all the pores from the inside of the bone which you don't have on wood if I come over here you can also see the rings through the cross section of the tree as well just wow look at that it used to be wood and it's now rock look at this see the lines of the wood and the bark on the outside and also he said there's a few other sites dotted around like this where you can just see petrified wood and fossils like walking through time. I think you just love the word Pangea and the thought of it all being connected <laughs> with one and dinosaurs walking around with all these massive trees. And I don't get trees here at all because they don't get any rain. <laughs> Except it's raining right now. <laughs> they lied to us. <laughs> A few million years ago this was tropical rainforest um, and it was very warm here. And apparently all the trees were huge and dinosaurs lived here as well. So hence you've got petrified wood and fossils here. And the first time that they saw the colorful mountain when they were hiking yeah. down there, they discovered the Puertasaurus, one of the biggest dinosaurs. Yeah. That dinosaur was 40 meters long and 80 tons. One elephant weighs 7 tons. So 11 elephants together were the set of that dinosaur. This is a big Obe Sky Museum. Yeah. So you can find fossils <laughs> everywhere in this place. And that one is the head of the femur bone. There's only the head of the bone that goes inside of the hip. So this is the head of the bone, main body. So this bone would be this long, something like that. And there are more, more little pieces of bones going outside here. Mm -hmm. We don't know the name of this dinosaur, but they gave the name of Kayaksaurus. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Santa Cruz. Yeah. <laughs> Some kind of pelvis or hip bone here as well in the shape of that a ball and socket joint just sat in there look at the shape of it well this place is incredible so much to see here there was clearly a high concentration of uh, dinosaur life in this area like he said this area several million years ago was just full of really huge trees it was tropical in climate and uh, I mean just walk a few meters and you come across some more fossils, some more dinosaur bones. This is like a kayak slash tour through history as well, natural history, which I'm all about. <laughs> in Ushuaia we walked with penguins and here in El Calafate it's like we're walking with dinosaurs. It's amazing, I didn't expect to be doing this, I just thought kayaking in a little walk, fascinating. So crumbly. He's walking further up this riverbed and we've come across this fossil full of old shells which basically indicates that there was an old seabed here or coastal area. Apparently this is the first time this has been seen in this area. It's finally stopped raining. Yeah it definitely feels like kind of this is the closest we're going to get to maybe walking on the moon or another planet. This terrain oh the terrain is crazy, it's very soft and a lot of us are all sliding around everywhere. One guy fell over and everyone clapped obviously. <laughs> it's got a nice clay looking back now. Nice humor of this one. Yeah. Look at the size of this bone. It's huge. So there's the humor or the upper arm of some species of dinosaur just sat here at the surface yeah, it just feels like rock oh, 
amazing. Put it back where I found it. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Walking through history. Just stopping off and having a bit of lunch. Got some pizza that we brought with us last night because there's not too many restaurants here on the moon. <laughs> so yeah, gotta bring a bit of lunch with you if you're gonna do this trip. Just asked our guide what these little footprints are and he said there's Wanako footprints. We saw them on the way here in the bus. They're little feet. Maybe this one's a baby one. <laughs> it does look like a parent and baby. I'm glad we're walking back now. I'm really glad because after standing around eating lunch, I'm freezing. It's not like her seat to be cold. <laughs> from down there looked amazing up here and the view from up here looked amazing down there <laughs> yeah we've walked back uh, from where we had lunch we're heading back to the kayaks we've come a different way we've come uphill looking back across this amazing landscape and also looking down over the river over the milky glacier aid <laughs> <laughs> look at that wow what's a view from up here we're still a couple of meters from the edge because <laughs> it's really crumbly underfoot. Yeah, slipping and sliding with like clay all around us. <laughs> what a day! Yeah. Just to give you an idea of where we are and where we've been, so. This is River Leona. We've come down here, around this, this bend, around here, and then we set our kayaks on the riverbanks just over there. And then we've then walked up a valley along here and into this incredible landscape. And then come uphill to this viewpoint. And what a viewpoint it is. Let's look at the river. It's crazy how thick this clay is. Just look how much it's stuck to the bottom of my shoe. <laughs> Feet feel so heavy. Feel like I need to strap on a set of skis for this section. Look at this, it's like a huge sand dune. You can actually see beneath my feet that there's a thin layer of clay on top and then it's just this sandy gravel beneath. So it does actually become quite, not slidey, but just like walking down a sand dune. You can actually start to take giant steps. <laughs> and we are back here with the kayaks now to do the final stretch of the river back to the van. And I would say we've been trekking for maybe around three hours, but that did include lunch. And we weren't walking the whole time because we were stopping off and seeing fossils and various things. So, and it's finally stopped raining, which is quite nice. It's unusual for this area to get so much rainfall. I mean, we've pretty much had a whole day of rain. Most of the moisture comes from the west and hits the western side of South America, so Chile, and uh, falls on the Andes mountain chain. But uh, we're coming into autumn in this part of the world now. But yeah, back at the kayaks. Let's go. Yeah, go on, Wifey. <laughs> 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 okay, Get my skirt tucked in. I've got some mitts this time. Yeah, there we go. Skirt is tucked in. Good for kayaking. Part two. Let's go! <laughs> That's it, wifey. Paddle that way, upstream. You're going back to shore. Quicker! <laughs> 
Let's go! Last little paddle. Yeah. Nearly there. Oh, it's like a perfect little harbour. We landed. <laughs> the guys have just given us a Stella Artois Petite. What a day! We've just had a quick change, but it is chilly. Yeah. <laughs> Happy to have my nice big coat back on. And we're now going to go back, back on the bus, get warm, get warm showered, shower. <laughs> yeah, and get some food. But we hope you've enjoyed seeing this stunning scenery um, from the so comfort unique. of your nice warm home, probably. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah, Don't forget to up. like and subscribe. We really appreciate it. Yeah. And we'll see you on the next adventure soon. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye. Ciao. Join us next time as we leave El Calafate and head off to El Shalton to hike one of the most famous and beautiful places in Patagonia, Mount Fitzroy. For daily updates on our travels, head over to our Instagram at TideNotTravelers, or for exclusive behind-the-scenes content, we'd love you to join us on Patreon. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Kirsty's really enjoying it. <laughs> A few waves came over the bow. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Just to give you an idea of where we are and where we've been, so... So just to give you an idea of where we are and where we've been...